Hey guys, Awesome Man 0112 here, and uh, today I'm playing GTA 5 as you can see here. Um, so I watched a movie about all these fast cars, and I really like it. So it got me thinking, well, why don't I just turn the garage to a racing garage and uh, get a bunch of racing vehicles that I would usually take into a race or I would take in a racing life. So um, I'm gonna put the phone down. Let's get started with the first vehicle. Alright, so the vehicle you see here is an Albany Buccaneer muscle car. And it's got the bug catcher in the hood. It's got that good looking grill. It's got atomic tires. Oh. Anyway, it's got atomic tires. It says Buccaneer. I think. I don't know. Uh, yeah, and this is a muscle car, obviously, as I said. Um, and I would use, I would take a muscle car into like maybe a muscle car race, and, and this would look really good. It'd probably look like the best muscle car in that race. But yeah, that is the muscle car. Just one more little round look. Oh. All right, so let's get on with the next vehicle. Tires are spinning kind of in the muscle car, but let's just go to the next vehicle. Or I should say car because, you know, but whatever. Alright. Alright, so the next vehicle you see here is a Dinka Jester with that big bulky uh, spoiler. I do like the big bulky spoiler, but they're cool. Atomic tires. And this thing you see right here is a race modifier. And it looks cool. And my favorite part is the front with that. Um, forgot the name. Bumper. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. But, um, yeah, so this is the Dink Adjuster. It's, uh, blue, because I kind of like the color blue. And, uh, yeah, I would take this in a race. I would beat some people. And it does look like in a race. Um, it does look like a racing vehicle. Um, go down, um, in the comment section below. Comment which vehicle you like and what rating. Or just talk about which vehicle out of the, out of these four would you take into a race or just like name your own vehicle from GTA 5 you would take into a race I mean I bet a bunch of you, I think a bunch of you are like into the supercars or stuff but whatever um let's get into oh yeah speaking of supercars we got one that um is next this one that I just got into and uh it's pretty cool looking car kind of futuristic looking but this is the cheetah the red cheetah I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna nickname it Red Lightning because it's very fast. The, the um, front of the car looks really cool, and if you side, you can see the futuristic look, especially the spoiler. It looks really futuristic. But anyway, that's uh, red tires, atomic tires. Um, looking back, vented sides. It looks like. And yeah, I'll take this car into a race and dust everybody because it's a supercar and supercars in this game are really, really, really fast. And this is one of the fast cars in the lineup of supercars. So yeah, I'll take this into a race. Um, not much else to say about this car, but yeah, like I said, comment section down below. Pick your favorite car out of the four and uh, rate it and uh, or just uh, pick your, uh, get your favorite car from GTA 5 and just and just um, tell me that it's your favorite car down in the comment section. Anyway, going on to our last car. We're going on to our last car right now. All right. It's the Bravado Banshee. As you can see right there, sports car. It uh, doesn't have a hood, obviously. It's got the spoiler, black sports atomic tires. Uh, 
I don't know if you can really see that good enough, but that says Banshee. I really like that. Uh, the front of the car has got its yellow, race yellow with the black stripe going down it, which looks really cool. Paint job, did a really good job on. Um, and then you got, oh, you got the, uh, there's, uh, vintage hood. And yeah, um, rate what car, which, uh, rating, uh, you would like it. And, oh yeah, that looks cool. But anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to Chris, 12.5750. He's, uh, pretty cool. He, um, he's trying to hit 300 subscribers. And he's got some giveaways going on right now. So if you comment on one of his videos, um, he can pick a winner. Um, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see y'all later.